So insecticide treatment is often carried out by pest controllers as what they call a last resort to dealing with a bee problem. Often it doesn't need to be a last resort. There are other options available. It's just understanding what they are. So there's many codes of practice to follow when insecticide is used and there's only a few compounds that can be used to actually treat bees legally within a void space. That's something that would need to be done professionally by a certified pest controller. There's a list of certified pest controllers on the British Pest Control Association website. So to get someone who's certified and that follows codes of practice, the, the British Pest Controllers Association is the best place to go. The problems with spraying bees is that often it's ineffective in the sense that the, the, the treatment will maybe kill that colony off, maybe even completely, if you're lucky and but it won't stop other bees actually going in and foraging on the hive often and we do find that even if people attempt to seal off the entry points the entry points are all that's sealed but two meters over where there's a gap under the tiles is often not sealed and would be actually practically impossible to seal off and we often find they sneak in other bees to steal the honey that was in that area that's been sprayed so one of the biggest problems we use in insecticide is that other foraging bees from other local hives, so beekeeper hives, wild colonies, will come and steal, because no, because no bees, remember, are protecting it now because they're dead. They will steal the honey from the hive and fly it back to the beekeeper hives and the wild colonies, which then introduces an insecticide that's been used to spray those bees into beekeeper hives and wild hives. The problem with wild hives, the bees eat it and unfortunately they die. So that's bad, so that snowballs in effect. The problem with it in beekeeper hives is that the beekeepers then actually harvest that honey, okay, and they put it into jars and then it goes for human consumption. So basically what happens is insecticide then gets spread on people's toast, it gets uh, eaten by humans, which is really damaging. The, the insecticide that's used is not safe. You don't wanna be eating that. So that's one of the biggest problems with insecticide use is that it contaminates the human food chain. So we had an interesting call once from a lady. She had bees in the chimney and she wanted it dealt with quickly. She wanted it dealt with economically and it was a serious problem for her. She was seriously allergic to bees and she phoned us up and said, how do you do it? What do you do? And we gave her the example of obviously removing the honeybees and the comb alive and cutting them out and using scaffold and stopping any more coming back. At the time, she made the decision to, to get the bees sprayed. It was cheaper, it was quicker and she got the bees sprayed and what actually happened is it pushed the honeybees that were on all of that hive which I think went down about three meters down the chimney it pushed 50,000 say bees which is an average amount to have in a colony down the chimney into the living space of the house which is where the bees were initially so she may have had a couple of hundred bees inside the living room and what actually happened then when the bees were sprayed they actually came down in the thousands into the living room and it actually made the problem worse because then what happened all those bees died essentially that were on that honeycomb when they were sprayed with the insecticide and then she had hornets she had wasps she had other honeybees from thousands of other local hives beekeeper and wild because remember no bees were now protecting their valuable honey source because they're dead so all of the other local wild bees and uh, other wasps and hornets were then foraging on that honey and uh, they were then in turn also dying and falling down the chimney as well. So we actually ended up going and actually removing the honey, supplying the scaffold and putting the building back together and stopping any other bees coming back anyway.